This how-to video is going to describe how to design pad stacks and then use them on a PCB footprint. Um, so we'll run the pad designer, available from start, all programs, cadence, uh, the latest release, uh, PCB Editor Utilities folder, and then there's something called the pad designer. Now we're going to do a file, new pad stack. Um, now the important thing here to remember is obviously this is going to be stored into the location which is defined as your pad path inside PCB Editor, but it's also worthwhile giving it a name that you can kind of recognize. Um, whether that's kind of you follow an IPC naming convention or you follow something like the R underscore 50 underscore 32 which will give you around 30 pad or 50 pad with a 32 hole I'm just going to give it a name of, of Steve underscore test 3 today just as an example I'll then go and specify things like the units that I want to use I want it to be a drill hole, a circle drill hole and I want the diameter to be, to be 50 thou and you can see the preview actually starts to come through now the drill slot figure is actually available for when you're generating an NC drill legend table. Um, so we're just going to give it a circle, a and maybe a 50 thou in size. I can also enable the multiple drill. Um, so if I want to enable this, I can then have maybe th a three by three matrix um, with a clearance of you know, kind of 10 thou between each. So I can have multiple drills inside the one pad if I wanted to. For this function I'm not going to do that. I then go to the layers tab and start to define the actual pad stacks. So we've got a begin layer, a default layer and an end layer. So my begin layer circle, I've got a 50 thou pads, uh, 50 thou hole so let's make it 100 thou pad and you can kind of see this preview coming up here. We get an X section on the top. I can then, um, if I want to use this the same all the way through, just do a right mouse button, copy to all and let's copy all of those to these layers. Now for thermal and anti-pad, um, I'm never going to use negative artworks, I mean obviously you can if you want to, but you only need to define the thermal relief and the anti-pad if you're using negative artworks, so I'm just going to define the regular pad at the moment. I also need to define a solder mask top, so let's um, let's go and define the solder mask top and I'll specify that as a circle and maybe just oversize my pad by 5 thou. And then I can also use the copy to all, just, let's just uh, copy that to the solder mask layers. If I wanted to define a paste mask top I could here also. Um, the other thing to do is if I wanted to define a user-defined layer, I can do a right mouse button insert and then maybe rename this to be a via plug and this will then give me a via plug layer that I could specify a circle and get something on my actual screen to, to inform the, the fabricator that I had some plugs on the vias. Once that's done, I save the pad stack, uh, so my pad stack then gets saved in my pad path. Then when I go to PCB editor, I can do a file new, let's just do package symbol say OK and then use that the layout pins function important to have the options menu pinned out I can then browse for the pad stack so let's look for Steve and see what we've got there's my Steve test 3 pad or say OK and then there's that pad stack that I can then use in my design